guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and sometimes I find weird things on Amazon and then I have to buy them and test them, and I turn it into a video to justify it. So I was on OfferUp recently, which is an app where you can sell and buy products. I go on there every once in a while to check and see if there are any new typewriters or any of my typewriters that have been sold to people and relisted on OfferUp because I've had that happen before. And I was on there and I found this weird ad in the middle of all these typewriter listings I was looking at that was a white background and a little thermal label printer in the middle and it said, label printer, typewriter. And I had to click on it. And that ad took me to Amazon. And I found this little P-U-Q-U, that's the acronym, label printer for $20 on Amazon. And I was kind of intensely interested. So I purchased it and it had prime shipping on it. So it got here really quickly in two days. And I was already impressed with it, even though it seemed a little bit sketchy. So there are thermal label printers out there and any label maker is going to cost you a little bit. It is not like typing out something with a typewriter or writing a label with your hand. Label printers get expensive because they are computerized and they have the ability to store extra fonts in them. So if you want specific fonts, you might have to get a specific label maker and those can vary in price depending on the brand, the company, the amount of ink in them, the kind of labels. It's a whole ordeal. Now I had seen advertisements for other thermal label printers that looked really like typewriters before, specifically this one from Make ID. I was really interested in and I even messaged the company to see if they had any press samples available that I could try but they were not interested in me at all and the label printer itself was also like $120 once listed on Amazon and if you go and check that out it actually has really bad reviews so I was kind of curious to see if this one would do better because it was only $20 also looked like a typewriter and I could get it myself without too much hassle or money. Hey guys editing Sarah here and yes I look crazy. Um, <laughs> I was actually sitting down to work on this video and I went back into my Instagram DMs to see the DM that I actually sent the company that made this thermal label printer and I found the message but the Instagram account associated with what I messaged them was deleted. So there was no Instagram account that was specifically advertising that typewriter themed label printer anymore and I couldn't find them so I went on Instagram and searched their company name again and I found a different Instagram page, a newer one, that they made only advertising the smaller label printers in their line. So they had no pictures of the typewriter themed thermal printer. What that means, I have no idea, but I thought I would come on here and clear that up in my editing outfit just so that you knew I went back and checked on it and the Instagram account that I had messaged about that typewriter printer has since disappeared into the internet ether. So I don't know what's going on there. So I purchased this label maker and it showed up and I got really excited and had to test it immediately. Part of this printer is that it actually connects to your phone and there's an application that you can use to create the labels and then print them through the printer. Now I started by downloading what I thought was the right app because I had the company's name on the app. So I downloaded this app first and it had kind of poor reviews on the app itself. I downloaded it and tried it and I couldn't get the device to pair with it at all. I messed with my Bluetooth a ton. I tried turning on and off the printer and it turned on, which is great. And I could not get the Bluetooth to pair with this app or my phone specifically. I had so much trouble with it and I thought, oh, that's what I get for buying a $20 label printer on the internet. And then I noticed there was a second app in the App Store that had the same logo as they do in the book and on the box of this thermal label printer. So I downloaded the blue app, but really I was supposed to download the pink app to get this to work with my phone. Once I downloaded the pink app and deleted the blue app, it immediately paired with my phone. I had zero issues with it and I realized I had just downloaded the wrong thing. So once I had downloaded this app, I tried to play around with the printer a little bit. I wanted to test some of its applications. So I started just by trying to make it print things. What I realized is that the label preset in the application was actually for a much thinner label than the label that came with the printer. It does come with a roll of labels already in it and I did have to push over an arm in the middle to get those labels to stick in there. They rolled through, they did their test printing, and then I was able to try a few things on the application. So first of all, I just wanted to see if I could get text on it, because what good is the label maker if you can't label things? And that actually worked pretty well, so I decided to move on to step two, which was to try some of the other things in the application. So the app also has 
the ability to print icons or like little clip art things on your labels. It also can do frames. You can also type in shapes on the label maker. So I wanted to try a few of those things as well. As I was messing around with this application, I realized that you could change the size of the label in the settings function. So I could go in and actually change the preset size of the label so that I was typing on a label size that was correct for the labels I was actually printing on. So I was able to make that my default logo label size and once I did that everything started to match up much better in the square of my label. So if you get different size labels in your printer make sure that you go in and check that they are the same dimensions as the label you're printing on. It makes life so much easier. I also wanted to test a bunch of different fonts. So one of the things I noticed that makes label printers really expensive is the inclusion of a ton of different fonts. My mom wanted a very specific font in her label maker and she ended up paying a lot more for a brother label printer printer because it had that specific font in it. But this application allows you to download a ton of different fonts in it and use those to type out your labels. So I tried all of the fonts. I also wanted to test out a different function on this. It says that you can take pictures or upload pictures through the app and print those on labels. So I did try that a few times. This didn't work out as well for me. I think you need to have really high contrast, a difference between the lights and the darks in your photos. But even when I tried that, like a picture of things on snow, it did not print well for me. And I do not suggest that as a reason to buy this printer. It just kind of looked awful. But you can also type in shapes. And I thought that would be really cool for a logo design. So if you're running a small business and needed some sort of printer for printing your labels or your price tags, you could make a logo in the actual app and use that on your designs. So I just put just my typewriter in a circle and I could play around with the font size, with the circle size. And I thought that was really cool as well. I don't know what normal people use thermal printers for. I guess you could use it to label everything in your house. But if you had a small business, this might also be a good option because you can print barcodes on these labels as well and change those in the app. They already have things that are set up to be price tags. So you can go in and add the item name, the item price, um, your name, contact info. You can do a lot by changing up some of the presets already in the application. And I think it might be really useful for that. It might also be really great for address labels if you're not already typing those in your typewriter. So I played around with the app a little bit, had a little bit of fun, and honestly, I thought it was pretty great. For 20 bucks, it seems to like actually work. I don't know though, because I went and did a little bit of research on the company itself. Now the company is foreign, so a lot of their website was in a different language. When I went to their website, I could not find this style of label maker anywhere on their website. So I went to their Instagram and they didn't have any photos on their Instagram. I messaged their Instagram and they never got back to me. I went on Amazon and looked at other printers by the same company and they were all much more expensive. So their other printers were much more on par with the other typewriter themed label printers. And this one was like the strangest, cheapest label printer. I didn't understand why. I think I might have fallen down a hole in the matrix on Amazon and found this printer because nothing else on Amazon looks like it and nothing else on Amazon is in the same price range for the same product. So I don't even know if this label printer actually exists, but I found it and mine works. So I'm not telling you to go out and buy a thermal printer because you don't really need one. But if you're looking for one specifically and you kind of like the vintage style of something that looks like a typewriter, I tried this one and for the price, I was incredibly impressed with how it worked. Now I did look into the app a little bit because sometimes typewriter themed apps can be a little bit sketchy. I do have a video where I tested out some digital typewriter apps and if you look in their settings, they actually record the information that you're typing. So you want to go into your privacy settings and make sure that you mess around with those to make sure that they're not recording any info you type in those apps. But on this app specifically, I did go in to check and see if that would be an issue and the only thing that the app itself actually collects is your location information and that's so that it can pair directly with the Bluetooth of the printer. You can toggle that on and off when you're not using the application so it doesn't know where you are, but I would just stress that you might want to check out the security settings on this app specifically just so you make sure you're not giving your location information to some strange company somewhere. Although I don't think the company actually makes the printers because I can't find their printers anywhere on their website. So that is just something to be a little bit cautious about. I'm just hypersensitive about what I put on my phone, but that's just me. So if you're interested in more typewriter tech-like products, I do a video on the Quirky Writer S printer and not printer, keyboard. 
it was a keyboard. And I did like that as well. It was also a Bluetooth paired device with my phone and my mom's iPad. And that was a really interesting product. I think this is a nice little thing to go along with that. It's an interesting way to bring in like the vintage style of something into something much more modern, like a thermal label printer. Now there are other considerations to make in including the security on your phone, but the label costs might go up over time. It was difficult to find labels that would actually match this printer. It did come with a roll in the beginning, but if you needed to order more, I was trying to find ones that would be from the same company. They're a little bit more expensive and it's difficult to know if they fit in this printer because this printer doesn't seem to exist to that company. But the internal mechanism does change sizes. So you can actually change the width of the labels in there just to make sure that it's going to fit in your printer as well. I also don't know anything about changing the thermal ink part of this label maker because I don't even know where it is because I don't really know how this works. But that was testing out the PUQU label maker thermal printer for $20 that I found on Amazon. It's really cool. If you're interested in more typewriter content, there are some other videos on this YouTube channel and I also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you all so much for watching and remind you that you're just my type writer.